Hello and welcome to part 17 of Fallout 3 Salt Build playthrough. Today we're going to be making our way towards the pit or into the pit DLC, my favorite DLC. And we actually have already covered the journey. We initially, when you select the quest, it tells you to go to this radio tower. I had this part recorded, but I lost it, so I apologize for that. But the journey was mostly uneventful. I went to the WKML broadcast station and then just traveled north all the way to the radio tower. Fairly uneventful, there were free enemies, but I ignored all of that. I did find the schematics for the shish kebabs, so there is that around about here. Uh, not too too important for our playthrough. Uh, so the radio tower, you talk to this guy Werner, he'll be fighting two raiders, he'll take care of them, I didn't even bother. And then I looted their corpses and now I'm traveling here. So he's given us a quest to find a slave outfit. So that's what we're going to be doing. And these guys are wastelanders. And I wonder if they have Even, anything. I hope you're not here for that water because we're leaving with it. Oh, okay, so this is just uh Okay, so this is just like a random event sort of thing. I guess I'll take being robbed over being killed. Okay. So they leave. You got what you came for. This is an escaped slave. Interesting. He's not wearing the slave armor, but it's stuff like this, you know, this is a random event. This can happen anywhere in the wasteland, but I mean, I've never encountered it here, but this is where it happened. So you can take purified water, which is pretty cool. Um, it will help us keep our karma up. So again, just going through here. So this was completely unexpected, by the way. Merc adventurer outfit. This is also an escaped slave. Not wearing a slave outfit. Weird. Um, okay, so they, they look more like slavers rather than slaves. Anyway, and we've got a Yao Guai here. I uh, will try to get rid of it. Just because he's fairly close to our destination, if I am in mind. Yeah, he may interrupt us, but I wonder what we're <laughs> Yeah, see, this guy is fast. And I'm in caution now. Wow, yeah, he, I cannot harm this thing. I cannot harm him. Okay, well, I guess I did harm him. <laughs> no. uh, but uh, yeah, don't take on the Algoise, please. Even with the stealth armor, they're fast and they will hit you f real hard if given the opportunity. <laughs> okay, just making some adjustments here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to make your way into the pit. And then once we reach the pit, they will take away all our armor which is what I like about this DLC. They just kind of do that. And here, I think there's going to be some speed checks here, if I'm not incorrect. Yeah, so these are some of the slaves from which you can take the outfits. I think they do give you some karma back. Okay, he's just beating them up. Okay, I don't care about that. And there's this guy here. And there's this guy. You got a problem? You can unlock this. Are you from the pit? I thought you. And yeah, you really care if I'm on, I'm here to buy the slaves and six hundred for all three. Sure, why not? We'll spend the caps. We don't really care. We want to get these guys out of here, and we can let these guys go. Oh my god! I'm not taking you anywhere, but I need your clothes right now. And that loses you some karma. Good, now get out of here. And that gains you some karma. So this keeps us neutral. We want to be neutral here. But if you don't fail that uh, pass a skill check, you can still, you know, loot this guy and get the worn slave outfit. Which we shall use. And tattered slave, worn slave, yeah. Okay, yeah, the worn slave outfit is worse. So I'm just going to put that back here. Tattered slave outfit has more endurance. Okay, so that's that. And yeah, 
And I think we head over to here. There's Werner. All right, you got a disguise. I'll, I'll meet you by the tunnel. And that's the tunnel right there. Okay, so this is the this is the train tunnel location. That's perfect. Oh, another sliver here. What do they have? Nothing of value, I think. So one last thing I'm going to do, as I said before, I'm going to go back to Megaton just to get rid of most of the stuff here. And get my way down What's to up? a point where I don't have anything to carry. I'll buy stim packs if I have to. Doesn't hurt to have more stim packs than less. But what I love about this DLC is that it basically oops basically strips you off of everything. None of the other DLCs do that. Point lookout doesn't take away your gear, but it is pretty hard. Like the enemies are pretty tough there. Mothership Zeta takes them away but gives them back to you right off as the game starts. Okay, huh. and let's see, 94 caps, not much, but we'll get rid of all this stuff. Okay, and anything else? I need that. Good hunting. Okay. Don't trust. And we will get back to our house and just put all that purified water. I basically want to be down to 32 or around that carry capacity. I'm thinking even just putting away Lesko's lab code because I don't really need it. There is, well, one, we're not going to be doing any checks or science checks. And number two, we are, well, there are some science checks, but they're up to average. So we don't really need that. And yeah, purified water, please take them away. And yeah, go meat, I guess I'll just eat that. I should have sold that to be honest. None of this stuff weighs anything, and this is just ammunition. Care less, there are stealth boys, and that's that. What do we have for weight now? 34. Here's the Yagwai meat. I have 4,800 caps. I will just visit the doctor, just get my radiation fixed and then head out to the train station again okay sorry I think I'm maybe even selling this guy some ammunition just for some stim packs actually no I'm, I'm gonna save up all on on all the other ammunition type because you'd best have can't okay I can you yeah do it please buy some medical supplies what do you have you have a bunch of stuff eh um yeah i think i will sell you i don't really need any of this stuff but i think i'll sell him pre-war money is fine some ammunition perhaps okay good yeah that's really good We'll keep the rest. And voila. You done? Wow, you done, really? Doctors in this game are busy. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what we want. This is exactly what we want. This is two, so that's fine. We've got lots of stim packs for when we need it right away in Red Axe. Perfect. And now we're going to head. Now, the reason I took a rad scrub, as I like to call it, is because we will be exposed to some radiation and there's going to be pretty much no way for us to heal that okay so we are ready now and uh, make sure that your karma is set to neutral because of all the speed checks well i don't think there's many speed checks here but if there are any we can do that so we just take this Jump on the cart. and travel into the pit I'm right behind you and here we go so once we're here we cannot head back okay so just be aware of that. Now, I haven't saved the game before that, but that's okay. Uh, I intend to come out of here. No, now, just sneak. Let me do the and there's going to be a lot of these guys he's going to be killing. Okay. And I think I should help him do some of that killing. Perfect. I'll take some of this. I'll take the assault rifle because this we'll be needing. 
So the reason why we're coming to this DLC is because we need we need access to a specific item and that item is well a weapon it's called the gun it's a gun <laughs> it's not called the gun it's a gun called the perforator perforator is a fully silenced uh, semi-automatic weapon it has a really bad scope in my opinion but it's a really good weapon otherwise and this dlc is the only one that gives it this and the infiltrator but the perforator is a unique variant of it okay so that's the cool thing about it. So we'll be getting that. We don't need this machine gun. Now, in order to repair that, you need assault rifle. So this is why I'm picking up all the assault rifles that I can get from these guys. The ammunition if I so need it. Okay, and that's that. And one of the things I did was get my melee weapons to 30. This will help us because initially we won't be getting any weapons of any sort. Well, I guess we'll have the 0.32 pistol that Werner is going to give us, but that's pretty much it. So he's going to take his time, so we're just going to... Sorry. We're just going to wait here. We've got, we've got to keep moving. There's no time. We've got to keep moving. Kay. There's no time. Thank you. Yeah, I know. All right. There you go. This is as far as I can go. If you can't... Uh, well, I want to sneak a weapon well. in. I'll take the gun because our gun's in. Find Midia, and we have to find this person named Midia. Now, here's why we took the um, light step perk. I'm going to kill some of these raiders. It doesn't hurt for us to level up here because uh, we want access to more and more perks, specifically better criticals, which I think unlocks at level 16. So I'll kill whom I can, but in a sneaky way. But fairly soon, I'm going to lose access to the Chinese stealth armor, which is going to be sad, but oh well. So we have nothing of importance here. There's some enemies up here. So this bridge, you see this bridge? So this is Pittsburgh, which is turned into this whole hellhole. Um, and what is this? We'll take some Red Axe. Red Axe is pretty good, actually. Might as well take it. Motorcycle handbrake, don't need that. What is this? Some raiders here which we can kill. Jingwei Shock Sword people. This is one of the best melee weapons in my opinion. Well, one of the most convenient ones. There are better ones, I think. But. And we got point thirty two, so more of the same stuff. There's more raiders here. Walk by unsheathing or sheathing the weapon to walk faster. Okay. These are wild men. Okay. And there is one other person here I see. Oh, there he is. Right beneath us. Perfect. And what do we have here? Point thirty two is what he gave us. And very little ammo. Take the stim pack another dirty water. Don't need it. We'll be hit with rads. Mostly we'll be hit with rads at the end game, but we'll be hit with rads here as well. So this is what I like about this game, about this DLC. It makes it so it takes away all your weapons and armor, but it gives you a progressive increase in the difficulty. Unlike, say, Dead Money, which just takes up everything and it makes the game incredibly difficult. Now this area is going to be filled with mines and the first time I came here I exploded so many mines but with the light step, I don't need to. I'm not going to pick them up because uh, I don't need mines. It would be good for selling though but it really overloads me towards the end of the game. so. I'm not gonna be picking them up. I usually just leave them where it is. Okay, more of the stuff. But good EXP we had here. So these dogs are also here. And you can go ahead and kill them. Oh, 
fact. I don't care about dog meat and a mole rat as well. They've killed it already. Good, good. I think they blew up some mines as well. So this is why light step is so important. It just makes this part really easy and subsequent parts where traps are even within the pit. I don't think I've encountered any traps and this is why we want to do that. So I'll just take the rat axe here. And maybe even do a rat away before I actually enter this area. Yeah, six rats, not bad. But I want three rats before I make it in. Oh, there's more. Plus five, plus six, plus four. Oh gosh. 25, oh jeez. Yeah, might as well take the rat away. So lots of EXP. As you can see, just free EXP lying around. And we can just take it. I think this is the safest way to enter the pit without any issues. And there's three more, and that would be the end of it. And this is going to demonstrate like how some slaves are slaves are trying to escape, but they get trapped. Oh, their collars explode! I think. And if you haven't had the opportunity, you can take that Warren Slave outfit at this point. So there's also that. So this is it. This uh, marks our entry into the into the pit. This is the last one. I think here there should be a bed. This marks like the last location you can rest. So I would suggest taking that opportunity. And yeah, we're good. Don't repair any of the assault rifles. Uh, we will, we're going to use it to repair other weaponry, so don't do that. And at this point, we've reached where we want it to be. <coughs> and I just wanted to do the rad away. Yeah, so I get my rads to zero. My condition is full, and I am good to go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save the game here, and then just move on ahead. Okay, this guy's going to take everything that we have. Like the Chinese armor, that is incredible. Like the Chinese stealth armor, this guy is sitting on that, so that's perfect. Well, for him anyway. You ain't one of us. Okay. Okay. Go on in if you want to join up. Wait for you. Huh? Man, I love shooting a running slave. Oh, hey! Look at this, fellas. It's the new recruit. Well, newbie, all mechs lied to you. The only thing we're hiring is slaves. So, now's the part where we fuck you up. Take everything you own and put your sorry ass to work. Ah, talk to this! Get her, boys! Okay, and this is one of the options that does happen. That's enough. Get our stuff. Come on, hurry. Hey, put that down. That's mine. Okay, got everything? Let's get out of here. Relax. We messed you up pretty bad. Take it easy. Don't move too quickly. Come on. Sit up now. So this is what one of the... What are thinking trying to sneak in here like that? I thought Warner said you were... Okay, so this is one way to actually read this area. And we've got the slave outfit, we've got the point .32, which will hot key here. They've taken pretty much everything else from us. Okay, so that's fine. That's pretty much what it is. And Medea will take us to where we need to go. These are the pit slaves. And you can take scrap metal if you still want any. I wonder if... Oops. And yeah, she's moved to her house. Me up any time, 
And there you go. All right, we can talk now. Okay. Thanks for helping me out. That doesn't sound very dangerous. The house of Trog. So yeah, I mean this is. What's going on in here, Medea? Who is this scam? Um, nothing, uh, nothing, sir. I, I was just telling this new worker about the job the foreman posted. Oh yeah. So she's the one that's going out to the steel yard, huh? Yes, sir. I, I told her what she needs to do. She knows. Ten ingots as fast as she can. Well then. I hope you also said goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> All right, playtime's over. Get to work, grinders. Speed it up, Twinkle Toes. There's work to be done. Okay. And so this is kind of where the game leaves you out. You can pick up whatever. I would recommend scavenging every healing item that you can. You've got very little amount of uh, protection and no weapons. So the first quest is that you have to engage uh, you have to collect steel ingots and that's exactly why Don't we're here scab. we're here to collect steel ingots so that we can uh, get ourselves some really nice weapons and, and the perforator is it requires 90 steel ingots and that's what you have to collect okay so millie have you seen wild bill he did i'll help out and you'll find this is like another mark quest so you can tell her of key and you know you could take more of these worn slave outfits just to increase your damage threshold but i'm gonna leave off here and continue in the next video just to kind of break it up here you see a lot, don't you? okay you and we'll continue with our playthrough next video into what we're going to be doing and how to collect steel ingots and 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 and, and, and get to the next part of the game so because we want to do this dlc as fast as we can all right thanks for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye